debater. At IBM Think, the world's first live stream public debate between a human and an artificial intelligence driven machine. But I suspect you've never debated a machine. <laughs> Both sides had 15 minutes to prepare for the debate resolution, we should subsidize preschool. The machine project debater drew on a collection of 10 billion sentences and 400 million articles to formulate a four-minute opening argument in support of subsidizing preschool. While I cannot experience poverty directly and have no complaints concerning my own standards of living, I still have the following to share. Regarding poverty, research clearly shows that a good preschool can help kids overcome the disadvantages often associated with poverty. The machine is competing against Harish Natarajan, a grand finalist at the 2016 World Debating Championships. Yes, you could make it slightly more accessible for individuals to attend preschool. That doesn't mean those individuals who are as poor as Project Debater seems to, want to, seems to care about people are going to be those who have the ability to send their child to preschool. Giving opportunities to the less fortunate should be a moral obligation of any human being, and it is a key role for the state. The debater needed to listen to, to Harish Natarajan speaking for four minutes, making very subtle, complex arguments, and still generate a rebuttal. This is, this is a different level. When the debate ends, polls indicate Natarajan won, since he swayed the opinion of 17 percent of the audience toward his favor. Our congratulations to him. To some extent, I feel that this is out of the comfort zone of artificial intelligence. And this is why it is so fascinating, because it has so many open questions to ask. So I feel the debate we saw was just the beginning. But polls did show the computer enriched the audience's knowledge more than the human debater. What the system was able to do, and it's very difficult for a human to do in a short amount of time, is get a lot of information and data. But the human, I think, was clearly better. He was a very good debater in building an argument step by step. I don't think that AI should be striving to get to the same kind of intelligence as humans. I think rather we should use the strength of computers, which is different than human intelligence, and augment and enhance humans in what they do. Other futuristic technology on display at the event included IBM Q System 1. It performs quantum computing, a radically different approach that scientists believe could solve problems too complex even for supercomputers. So sophisticated is the IBM Q System 1 that it must be kept inside an airtight case that keeps the temperature colder than outer space. Any change in temperature could disrupt the pristine computing environment. Other tech making its debut include the Verifier, which attaches to a smartphone to detect food bacteria and even determine whether a food product is counterfeit. 73% of the extra virgin olive oil coming into the U.S. is mislabeled or counterfeit. We've done this not only with olive oil and other cooking oils, we've used this to tell the difference between red wines, Cabernets, we've used this to tell the difference between white wines. Dylan Berger believes the technology can go beyond the smartphone by being embedded into everything from cutting boards to the very utensils we use to consume our meals. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.